All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape room, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked into AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 217 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, the Ghost. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Well, there have been a lot of similar UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena. And we are back in Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a it's that shining moment in the world's greatest arena. I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just follow it. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really Overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, oh, tie. oh nice.
nice slam there by Nermako Manoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, huge block! Big head kick lands. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. So 33 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Let's Good defense to block the strike coming back. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Looked like he might have landed there. Oh, and a swing and a miss. got the takedown. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Ground and pound strike there now. And they both stand up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice straight punch. Looking to land the right just out of range. 90 seconds remain in the round. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game, straight right is good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right hand on point. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, connects with the one-two. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, man, look, the uppercut snaps his head back yet again. His coaches are livid. They've tried to give him the right messaging in terms of adjusting. He hasn't been able to He's not listening. At times, a fighter will make a determination, even if it's not in their best interest to fight a certain way. That is what he's doing tonight, and he's definitely paying for it. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Round two is next. Are right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round? DC, a lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponents not moving his head, 
and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Straight punch lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. And an uppercut. Nice punch to the head. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center lineman. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Nice punch there by Nermago. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Back to the jab now, no good. Left punch is true. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That shot is blocked by Nermago Medoff. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Three minutes to go. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. What a body kick. Just misses there with the left. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Khabib lands early and he lands off. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water. Going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. What a punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Connects with a right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand points with the clinch. Trying to establish that jab once again. That was stuck in. Nice strike. 15 seconds. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just missed with that right hand. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here.
All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Nermago Medov. Good stick. Slips the shot. And there comes the separation now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes, and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh! All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Beautiful strikes. Back and forth we go. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, single collar tie now. Immediately gets the underhook. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Good punch. Well, going to be interesting to see these unofficial numbers at the end of the fight, but for now, 154 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit, 39% now on the connections against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. So the counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Nice. Just out of range with the big right hand. Right hook to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here.
get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of the third round. Going to winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle, Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.